in PC Crash 12.1, there are some additional editing options for uh, vehicle DXFs. Uh, I've already talked about how you can use DirectX vehicles as uh, shapes within vehicle DXFs, which is why I've got a car on this trailer. But now I want to look at drawing uh, perhaps like sightline uh, volumes. So I've got this tractor loaded up here. I want to add a DXF element to this. I'm going to edit that drawing. And I want to draw some lines to show how the uh, tractor driver can see. So I'm actually going to load in this shape again just as a drawing element. Just so I've got something to compare with. And I just want to move it back a little bit so that it's in line. So let's just move it in 3D, change the X back so it's in line with that front bumper. I'm just going to flip my view from the side here and make a drawing layer. So I'm going to make a new layer here and call this uh, shape another new layer and call this construction and another new layer call it um, so I'm just going to put this shape here through the object properties onto the shape layer rather than the zero layer so I had that one selected now I'm going to pick my construction and just draw a line. I want to get a sense of where this driver ought to be able to see. So it's right around there. And then I'll draw the ground plane. There we go. And let's continue that. Let's go from the front now. So I'll just draw something at the midline. Of the driver's seat. There we go. And let's go from the top now. I can't see that one. Let's go back. Try that one again. I think I'm going to just change the position. There we are. So that's all in behind our driver's seat, but I can make it come out if I edit the object properties. And so we've got a line that starts uh, start Y and end Y. Here's our negative. So if I want this to come out further, here, let's say that I want it to go same as this one. Let's just check out this one's properties. So we got a Z of almost 10 there and a Z of 1.3 there. So let's edit this one. Z 10, Z of 1.3. And now I just want to change the height this one to match the driver's seat. So now if I look at the side, if I'm thinking right, that should do, yep. Yeah. It's 
pretty close. So we're going back up. Great. Go back to the front line view. So I don't really need that one anymore. Okay, now I want to see how far you can see side to side here. So let's go back to our top view. And here, actually, I want to draw a little line showing me where that is on the side. So if I can go from my side view, draw this line from here out to there, then I can just edit. The starting value here, and just make that Z value uh, say minus two. So now when I look in the top view, there it is over there. So I can just draw a line to make that. That's where my driver is. So then from that intersection, you can probably see out along that line, and this way, you can see out along that line. But we can only see as far as this. So let's just approximate it by something like that. So these are construction lines. Now let's, if we go to our volume, there are some new drawing elements here. We've got 3D boxes, cylinder cones. You used to have to extrude to make uh, you know, roughly um, you know, cylindrical shapes and extrusions, but you can do things like pyramids and whatnot easily. So I'm going to use this triangle fan starting here and going out and following the shape I've estimated. Maybe I've gone too far out there. Let's say that one. And then right click to end. And let's see. So right now, if I look at the different views on that shape, you see it's all in this plane. So I want that point there to be up more. So if I zoom in and go up to my, see what my Z value I want there, that's 2.3 roughly. So let's go properties. And that one there, I want a Y vertex of 2.29. So now, if I look in my 3D window, I won't see it yet because I forgot to do make that visible in 3D. And now if I bring up my 3D window, you see I've got this fan shooting out that shows roughly... Now, that's just me guessing from the drawing. That shows roughly the zone which the driver cannot see below. So let's now just edit this a bit more. Let's go back to our top view. Don't really want to see all these elements either. So let's see if I go to my DXF, edit that drawing again. Let's turn off the shape and the construction lines. And actually don't even really want this automatically generated outline. Let's delete that. But I can play with the properties on this some more too. So right now this fan has a fill color which is black. Let's say I want to make it blue. And 
and there's also transparency. So I can make it a transparent blue. Let's flip to our top view here. See, so by adjusting the transparency, I can make it more or less transparent. Let's say OK. And so now in my 3D window, oh, missed a line there, but you can see there's the area where something is or is not visible. And as the vehicle moves, that moves with the vehicle. So you could define multiple zones of visibility or invisibility and then watch how those interact with three-dimensional objects in your scene. So there you go. That's a new kind of drawing object and a little more control over your drawing uh, interaction with the DirectX shapes and the DXF shapes in PC Crash 12.1.